Today we are rebuilding Fenerbahce in five years. That is our task today, Dad. A lot of times we've had them in the comments section, so yeah. I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to do that, break away from the big English time, uh, big English teams. And today we are taking on Fenerbahce of Turkey. We've done Galatasaray before. Yeah, which is their so, rivals. So. Exactly, the yeah. fierce rivals, and a game that I would never like to go to myself. No, 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 no. But there's a little bit of history straight away that we noticed is that they have yes. 19 league titles. How many has Guy Tesserae got? 22. Right. So, well, we challenge straight away, challenging then. three behind them, yeah. yeah. And they haven't actually won it since 2014. No. Which is a long time if you're considering they actually won it how big the very Fenerbahce first is. year it came out, though. Really? Yeah. So, 1915. So yeah, the very first um, year that the Turkish League was formed. Well, well, well. So, that is our task then. They have signed a lot of players in the summer and I think like a lot of Turkish teams are really going for some big signings. We've seen one Mata and Akadi yeah. go into big teams. Galatasaray, I think it was actually. So oh, obviously, that's a great sign in the ex first player. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Who's that again? Deli Ali. Of course, yeah. He's also gone to Turkey as well. But Fenerbahce didn't sign anybody like that. What they did do is some smart moves. So they got Jao Pedro in as their main striker from Cagliari. Uh, I think he is absolutely superb. And as you can see, our coaches rate him as four and a half star, our yeah. star player. He is the man we need to rely good, on for goals this season. Absolutely. My favourite player, I mean, by India is a very good goalkeeper. But my favourite player is this man, Gavecki. I've signed him a few times on the game. Really good attacking midfielder and he's only 26. So again, as long as we can keep him happy we can keep him for the whole of this rebuild that's the plan tries killer balls often as well which is fantastic so i didn't make any other signings there wasn't any money so i didn't really make any other signings let's take a look then at the tactic this is the tactic we're going for a 4-3-1-2 style formation we got two flanking center attacking midfielders on attack one on defend in the middle with the inverted wing backs which will help out uh, a shadow striker which we've got Kaveki, we've got Jao Pedro those two are our best options for that however I would like to see Jao Pedro up front and I would like to see Kaveki in one of those center attacking midfielders role and give that job to Lincoln yeah. who is our Brazilian playmaker I guess creative midfielder he hasn't I don't think he's as good as Kaveki because some of his mentals aren't as good but technically he's easily our best player yeah so he's only 22 he can grow into that role as well so those are really the positions that I think our highlight here is the center attack midfielder, shadow striker, and one of those strikers. We got, we got a few good strikers. Josh King's there, formerly of Bournemouth and Manchester United, of course. Anna Valencia, do you remember Anna Valencia? Yeah. He played for Everton. Yeah. Uh, and Michi Batuai is also here from Chelsea, of course. So we have got a lot of options up top, which is the reason why I wanted to go two up front. And we have played a few games so far already, and it's been good. So we started off quite well in the Sport Total Super League. Uh, which was a 3-0 win. We then had to play a couple of games in Europa League qualifiers. 3-0 win against Randers. 2 or draw means we qualified for the Europa League. Back to the league. It was a 4-3 victory here. Uh, that was a tricky game, especially when they were uh, down to nine men <laughs> after the 70th minute and we didn't score a winner until the 86. 86 yeah, good. Uh, but this one I'm quite proud of, Trabzonspor, who are one of the better teams in the league. Yeah. We battered them at, at their ground 3-0. Great result. Let's take a look at Europa League group then, because we have qualified. We've got Napoli, we've got Red Star, we've got Zoria there. Should be qualifying for that. Well, you've got to look what's going to be behind Napoli, I believe. I yeah. Reckon. They're a good side at the moment. Yeah. Proved that against Liverpool. God, yeah. Yeah. I think going in behind there, I think we definitely should finish above the Ukrainian <laughs> and the Serbian team. But they are still going to give us tricky games. We need to make sure we are on our toes. I'll be we don't qualify. I, I do yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, then let's simulate this first season. Okay, we finished in second place in the first season. Right. But look how many points we had. 95 points in a 20 Good. position season. Yeah, and we finished second with yeah. 95 points. I feel like Liverpool here. Do you yeah. remember when they finished behind Man City yeah. with like stupid amounts of points? Besiktas, what a performance they had. They lost three games. We didn't beat them ourselves. We did draw against both times though. Uh, 97 points from them. We had a better they, goal difference. They nearly chucked it away. They drew two games they near did, the end. Yeah, they, near they, the end. they let us in, really, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, which was one of them was against us. Yeah. That was crucial. We we beat them there, the, then we win on goal yeah, difference yeah. because our goal difference is far superior and I'd imagine that's what the rules are. Uh, it keeps here. us in Europe, though. Yeah, actually, it's the results between teams. So we drew against them both. We would have beat them because, of course, we, we drew we and them. then won. Yeah. yeah, so then it's goal difference after that. So we would have won anyway. But there we go. Okay, which way course is their top scorer? 36 goals 
Of course, the guy who got relegated with Burnley. Yeah. That is a huge amount of goals. He was also the highest average rating, and they had the two best assists. Gedson Fernandez and Arthur Musuaku, obviously formerly of Tottenham, Gedson Fernandez. Yeah. Formerly of West Ham was Arthur. But we can see João Pedro and Michi Batshuayi are both right up there. Them, yeah. Imagine scoring 34 goals in 38 games and not winning the Golden <laughs> Boot. You'd be fuming, wouldn't you? That is what it's going to be like for somebody to de- uh, this season uh, behind oh. Haaland, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Because he's getting 40 plus. I can just smell it. Awesome player. Now, four teams got relegated, and I believe it goes down to an 18 team league at some point. I think only three come up at one point. I'm not quite sure, but I've just noticed we played less games. Fair enough, you've never been better get it. Really? Yeah. As Galatasaray, do you think? I can't remember whether we ever, whether you know, I don't noticed to, that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, but that but is I impressive. Just, I just know that Fernando Batch have never yeah, been. Yeah, because that's like 60 years now. Yeah. So that is very impressive. Very good, yeah. But they are one, one of the biggest teams. Well, I would say they're, they're, they're the most supported team in Turkey. Well, yeah. So. There we go. But Galatasaray finishing down in fifth place there on 69 points. You naughty boys. Uh, and Istanbul, who used to be quite a big team, down in 10th there with 56 points. So they've dropped off quite a lot. Let's take a look then at the other competitions. We were in the Europa League. There is a Turkish Cup. How have we done there? We're the winners of the Turkish yes. Cup. Just Get in. in anyway. Yes. Uh, not down the second round by Rangers in Europa League. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I bet that was two hell of a, like, good legs. Yeah. If you think, go into Ibrox and then come into our stadium. Yeah, definitely. Good yeah. atmospheres. Yeah. Turkish Cup final. Who do we beat? <laughs> Get in. Galatasaray, 2-1 <laughs> in the there were the some final. freaks there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that wasn't pleasant. No. Uh, it's actually the first time we've won the cup as well, all the way back to, since 2013. So not only have we not won the league, but we haven't won the cup since then. Yeah. So, Fenerbahce fans, we've won a trophy yeah. first season for you after almost 10 years without one. There we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, I want to see Europa League, who won it in the end. It was Atalanta. Napoli, who obviously was in our group, got to the final. An all Italian all final Italian there. Final. Yeah, nice. They're Not surprised. A good, they're a good little side. Yeah. Like Serie A, one Italian. of my favourite leagues to watch at the yeah. minute. Really enjoying it. Uh, if you take a look, though, at the former positions, Dad, we were second the whole way through since here, which is basically yeah. about six games, six or yeah. seven games in. Not bad at all. Squad wise, how many goals did we get? 43 for João Pedro with 16 assists. Mishi Bachua got 32 with seven assists. That's it, 75 goals in two players. Yeah. Look how many goals. Very good. We've got double yeah, figures double in figures, as well. Yeah. You know, we've got Lincoln there, who I mentioned is going to be our creative guy in that centre attack and midfield role. We've got 14 goals, 17 assists. Kaveki, 15 goals, 14 assists. is also impressive. And Rossi as well, 16 so and 9. So we're a good side going forward. Absolutely, yeah. We're scoring a lot of goals. Uh, we so just we need to be better defensively. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got the good goalkeeper for that, though. By India is probably better goalkeeper out of the two, which is good in yeah. Turkey. The Trabzon scored one is decent as well. Sakia, I think he scored. Okay, uh, have they given our budget yet? That's not very good, is it? <laughs> you finished second. We're in the bloody Champions League and they're giving yeah. us that budget. We don't stand a chance. Oh, no. It's, I think it's oh, a Champions no. League qualifier. Yeah, I don't know still, where we go straight there, the group, yeah. but it's a qualifier still at least. still there, though, not you, really? And you won a cup. You need to be backed for it. You need to be backed for yeah. it. Okay, right. We'll go on forward second season. Let's see how we get on. Before we do, though, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. For some of you, it's probably about time that somebody got up close and personal with your balls. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Because we have a Manscaped product alert. Now, our friend Friends at Manscaped have brought the Ultra Smooth Package to Europe. And if you're looking for a closer shave, well, the Ultra Smooth Package is the perfect set for you. You first off, you can shave the bush with the Lawn Mower 4.0, but then you get right down to the root using the Ultra Smooth Package. Because in this package, you get three products. Inside, you get the Crop Shaver Razor, the Crop Exfoliator, and the Crop Gel. So lads, you no longer have to borrow your partner's razor to get right down there. And of course, this comes with a 20% discount code when you use Omega at checkout at manscaped.com. I'm looking after your balls, boys. Should be grateful. Now, it's not your average razor either. I mean, come on, Manscaped, they never they never half-ass anything. It's smaller. It's thicker. It has a micro comb bar because beach balls, they're supposed to be smooth. Of course, the code still works with the performance package 4.0 and everything that comes in with that. You must pick one up. If you haven't got one already, you get the t-shirt, the boxes, the lot. And of course, that all comes with 20% off using code Omega at checkout of manscaped.com. So pick up an ultra smooth package if you haven't got one. Pick up the performance package 4.0 if you haven't got one. There's a link at the top of the description. Thank you very much, Manscaped. 
So, as I've shown, we had no money in the transfer window. Now, Bruma did join us from PSV because it was an already transferred deal which was happening. He was at the club last year. We didn't really play him that much either because he's a winger and yeah. we're not using wingers right no. now. So, he has joined us anyway. We only let 500k go, which was players that were in and around like the second team, but a lot of them were loans as well. A couple of strikers going out on loan there that we haven't been using. So we just have to stick with what we got, unfortunately. We're going with the same okay, tactic yeah. and just hoping that this season, the luck is on our side. Yeah. We got 95 points last season. That should win you the league. Yeah. It's just unfortunate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so how have we started this league campaign? Well, it looks very good. Very healthy Whoa. indeed. Yeah. So if we start back up here, this is where the qualifying round started for the Champions League. It was the first leg of it, Bromby. That's a good result. Yeah, 5-4 uh, away from home. Because that's a tricky team to go up against right now. They well, won the league a couple years ago. You just four goals at home, you to win, you? Yeah. <laughs> then they came to us and we beat them 5-1. Ten goals against Bromby. So knock them out. Over, yeah. For sure. This one, I think, is even better, though. Sporting. Knock it, I mean, it's beat your Spurs team. The other day. Very disappointed. Yeah. Very disappointed. Marcus they, Edwards looked amazing. Over the whole game, I think they deserve it, really. Mm. We didn't take our chances. No. They did, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Can't argue with that. Uh, they are a very good team on this game as well, and yet we beat them in both legs. 4 3 at home and 3 1 when we went to their stadium, which, gotta say, looks beautiful, doesn't it, from the uh, when they yeah. hosted the Euros. Partizan was the next round. Tricky trip to Serbia. We very, beat them very. 1 0 in both legs. Yeah. Nice. But if we focus on the league, Champions Besiktas was our first game of the season. Get in. 1-0. Even with to 10 men as well, we still won that. Uh, we played against this team here, which I'm sorry, but I'm never going to be able to pronounce. I do apologise. But João Pedro got a brace and we won that 2-1. But this is the result that we're all thinking. 5-0. We went to hell and we came back <laughs> laughing with a 5-0 victory. Oh so, my God. Not bad at all. Michi Batch rival Massive rights out of God, that game. Yeah. And they Joshua were calling the manager's head, I reckon, didn't you? I reckon or if so. they didn't have it at the end of the match, I know it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we played against the other strong team in the Turkish league. So before this transfer window had ended, we played against all three of the best teams in Turkey. Trabzonspor then, we beat yeah. them 3-2. Batshuayi got a 93rd minute winner. Well, to be fair, we were already, we, that would put us 3-1 up because they scored 96th. Yeah. Uh, but our Champions League group is a tricky one, Dad. Ooh. That's group of death, isn't it? How the hell are you qualified of that? <laughs> that's one of the hardest groups I've ever qualified for. Definitely. Yeah, because that's the best team in, in England, the best team in Spain, the best team in Italy. Yeah. That's impossible. The best team in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not as if you go by <laughs> well, the not champions. Season. No, but, yeah. Yeah, but <sighs> they're probably not champions, all of them, are they? No, I think Inter Milan, because they would be the third seed, probably yeah. finished in third place and qualified through that. But wow, that's ridiculous, isn't it? We're going to be looking to qualify for the Europa League yeah, here, I think. Fingers crossed for that one. What have you got to do, mate? What have you got to do? You're going to win your own games. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Even one of the commentators mentioned that in the Spurs game the other night. Did they? Yeah, they were talking <laughs> They've about been the, 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 uh, the league basis. Of course, you've got to win your own games. Like, yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> They've been listening. They've been watching rebuilds. All right, okay, then. Let's see what this tactic can do. I want to show you, if I do a quick pick without restriction, our best 11. Just show you what it does look like. Batshuayi and Jao Pedro. Look at everybody linking up really well. It looks absolutely fantastic there. So we lost uh, the left back from last season because he was only on loan and they wanted like 14 million if we wanted to sign him. Yeah. And it was like, well, we only got 1 million, mate. <laughs> so not happening. But I think we've got a good enough team here to do some damage. Probably not in the Champions League, but especially in the league. So simulate the second season and see how we do. And we go and take the title. Get it. By a mile as well. Well, we should have done really after yeah. that start, really, shouldn't we? But Shikdas dropped off. Got a came points. right back up again. Look. Yeah, it's back third. into third place. 94 points in total for us. We only lost two games. Who did we lose against? Only lost two. Gets two teams that we should not be losing against either, no. really. Because that is two teams that are in mid table. There's one there, and there's the other one, eighth. 8th and 14th place. So we never lost against one of the one of our rivals, which is good. We did draw the home leg against Galatasaray and the away leg against Besiktas. But obviously we, had, we know we'd already beat them yeah, at some right, point yeah. Yeah. Uh, because of the start that we had. We did also score 128 goals. Well, let's just beat the record then. Because the record at 1988 was 103 goals in 36 games. Held by... Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce, yeah. wow. Okay, we beat our own record then. Yeah, 128. So we didn't even just beat it, we smashed it, really, if you consider <laughs> the amount of goals. I mean, 
And that's 36 games. Yeah. Because obviously, like I mentioned, we're going down because we only have 19 teams. Istanbul got relegated at bottom. I'm sure they won the league recently. They did 2020. Yeah. So what are we now? 2023. Three seasons, they finished bottom. So they played a lovely stadium, didn't they? That, that is a stadium. nice stadium. Yeah, yeah that is a nice really stadium. Nice. But wow. Gone. That's another Istanbul team as well. Yeah. So they, they've had some troubles there. Uh, but there we go. Okay. Goal Talk difference of 97. Talking about league bases as well, or what we've done in the league and Istanbul. When the league was called Istanbul Football League yeah. in 1922-23, Fenerbahce won the league without conceding a goal. Glad it, yeah. So before, obviously, the whole Turkish league. Yeah. Because I think, I don't know whether it was like part of... They were probably just smaller areas, stuff. Yeah, but they yeah. had their own league. But yeah, yeah Fenerbahce like won the league without even conceding wow. a goal. That is mental, isn't it? <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I read that. No, that is absolutely crazy. So there's an Istanbul professional league there, 1953-57-59. Yeah. There's an amateur league, which was all the way... So that must be that. It must have been that yeah. one, the amateur league then. Yeah. yeah, that is absolutely mental, isn't it? They used to have a Prime Minister's Cup and everything <laughs> like <laughs> All the way up until 1990. Yeah, I don't know if that's still going on. Obviously, we got this new one here. I did see that there. We didn't win the cup this year, by the looks. Oh, we did win the cup this year. We won it again. We didn't beat Galatasaray, though. We beat this team here. Another 3-2 win. I think it was 3-2 last time. Uh, Jao Pedro's done really well. Back to back, we have won the Turkish Cup. And we've won the domestic uh, league. league as well. Nice so, double there. Yeah. No surprises we were knocked out at the group <laughs> the stage. stage yeah. uh, did we win it? We won a game. In the Milan at home. Got to win your own games. <laughs> we lost the other five, though. Yeah, that's the trouble. That's the problem. Uh, six nil against Real Madrid, and six one against Man City. <laughs> The home games were closer. <laughs> a 1 0 against Man City and a 4 2 against Madrid. It's not bad, is it? No. But crazy things can happen in the yeah. Champions League. Oh, definitely, yeah. Real Madrid won it last year, but they lost to Sheriff yeah. at home. Yeah. Man United's got them tonight as we're recording this, and I'm crap myself. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there we go. So Mine, I've got a tip. I've got to say it, but I've been slagging United you know, off, but they, they're playing well now. Yeah, they're doing all right. They've, he's changed it around. Yeah. They're starting to play well. Oh, then the so Celtic. I'm not slag him off. We'll, we'll, we'll watch with interest tonight, yeah. shall we? It's because certain English players have been taken out of the team. Team, you are crap. <laughs> but I didn't say that. I'm going to get slated in the comments now by all the Maguire and Shaw yeah. fans. Okay, so that's a great season once again. Domestic treble. Oh my god, Jean Pedro, 55. 21 assists as well. Brilliant. Age 31, he's dominating this league. Joshua came with the second most goals. He got 25 in 25 starts with 18 appearances off the bench and 22 for Michi Batshuayi, who only, well, he started 30. Three players over 20 goals, and then you've got some backup there of a couple there good again. getting doubles. That's yeah, they won the league. Kaveki with 25 assists. Brilliant. Whoa. Absolutely unbelievable player. One of my favourites on this game to pick up. Uh, for a very cheap cost, he's, he's a little bit valuable now because we've used him, he's done well. But yeah. at the start of the game, you can get for such a good cost. Very good. Okay, so that's a fantastic performance from us once again. Transfer, 30 million. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's better than a kick yeah. in the dick that we had last <laughs> season, wasn't it? 30 million, we'll take that. We've got a few players who have been let, who are leaving as well, end of contract, so we'll have a little bit more in the wage uh, on top of that because you can see there's a lot of players who are leaving who I don't really rate and I probably won't renew their contract so we'll see who comes back and obviously who we sign next season so it's going to be interesting to see who you've signed then isn't it because it is. we don't need strikers definitely not at the minute no yeah. although joshua <laughs> king is one of the players who is devastated and leaving oh well so whether we'd sign him on or not we're probably going <laughs> to need another striker but let's find out now not only did i spend 30 million pound but i sold this player he was playing left back for us because obviously he can play left forward but we don't have a left forward so he was playing left back for us well, see he plays on the right as well it's yeah good, good player really. good squad player good squad but player. when Bayern munich come in for you he is million, wanting you to don't argue with that. No, not, for the, not for the Turkish league. 20, 24 million is a lot. Yeah. Uh, he did get quite a lot of assists across his time that he's played here. And considering we only signed him for £1.2 million, pound, it's a good profit, isn't yeah. it, at the end of the day? Well, when you look at last season, we already had 96000 to spend. Yeah. And then the team comes in and offers you £24 million. You're, You're going to snap their hands yeah. off. Yeah, He's a very good player, though. But, hey, we have spent... 35 million pound and I think we've replaced very well so at right back and left back we have Mert Mulder Turkish because there's a foreign rule in Turkey yeah you can only have a certain amount in the matchday squad so I've been trying to zone in on Turkish players I think you should have that in every league yeah I do as well yeah Mert Mulder 24 years of age as well great age 20 you can play right back you can play left back and he's very good at both of them as well yeah. nine million pound that we've bought him for he's got two assists good in boy. four games so far plus a man of the match good signing and he's he been doing quite well in the Serie A well if you're a defender in Serie A and you're doing well absolutely you've got to buy me so actually the only non-Turkish player I signed was Mariano striker he's 30 years of age 
but we've got him from Real Madrid. He's quality. Yeah. Very good. There's a lot of really good attributes that he has. Uh, very determined player. He's gonna. He he strikes me as the type of player who would do well in the Turkish league because I think he's up for a fight. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he'll do well here. He won't be uh, afraid. He's got great like work a, rate. Like a Costa for Wolves now. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you, the funniest thing about that, obviously, do you see the promo where they uh, had him yeah. holding Wolves yeah. and he said he was crap himself? <laughs> wolves have now posted a photo with the Wolves, the actual Wolves, on the pitch. Yeah. And I've seen somebody quote it saying, We've rented the walls for one week. We're going to use the walls all week. <laughs> Brilliant. So, fellow, actually, we got him on a free transfer. He's got three goals in four games so far this season. Exactly the same as what he got last season. <laughs> but he's done it in just four games. A 7.4 average rating. Considering, right, he got three goals in four games and only one of them was actually starting. He got great average rating. Rubbish had never used him. The season before, he scored 10 goals. So yeah, yeah. In 25 games. So. He's had a very weird career because he, he came through, like, this team here, moved to Real Madrid quite early on in his career Leon bought him he then scored 18 goals in his first season started the next season and Real Madrid bought him back <laughs> so they bought him back straight away he only actually played one full season by the looks of it well he didn't really because that was only three appearances off the bench but he's here now and we can do something with him now the players that we have bought obviously Istanbul got relegated oh, yeah, so, yeah, you buy their so best I went player. for their best player Sensible, yeah. uh, still cost me a little bit of money £5 million but he is decent to be fair but I think the two the, the, the two best players are these two so we've got Umat here who is going to be a left back for us now we've got Mert Mildred who can play on the right this guy can play on the, the left, left yeah. and I think he's a bargain picking him up for this cheap of 2.4 million pound from Besiktas. I yeah. think that's really good signing. But this man is definitely the talisman signing. Erkan Kirku, 22 years of age from Feyenoord. He is Turkish, even though he come through the Netherlands at the Finals Youth yeah. Academy. 18 million pound. He's got four and four games and an assist and he's a midfielder. That's good. Yeah, so he will fit in perfectly in that centre midfielder on attack role. That's what I think uh, will be best for him. And I really like him, even when I've done like a Feyenoord uh, game in the past. He's been a, a great player for us to have. And he can play everywhere, really. Good buys, though, mate. Yeah. Good buys. Really yeah, good. Happy with that. So, tactically, then, I don't think we need to change it. No. Won well, the league, won the, the league, cup. Yeah. Absolutely. Because we're not really focusing too much on European competitions well, right we now. We were putting the, 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 the one of death then, weren't we? we yeah, we yeah. We weren't going to qualify no. from that, was we? No. So, you, you know, know I fancy our chances in Europa. Yeah. Definitely. Don't get me wrong, but we're not qualifying for Europa. We're qualifying for the Champions League. Speaking of which, what is our group? Well, before we take a look at results, then, let's take a look at our group. Inter Milan, Sevilla, Bayer Leverkusen. <laughs> That's Inter Milan again, which yeah. is obviously great. And Sevilla and Bayer Leverkusen, they're two tricky teams yeah, they are, for a Fenerbahce. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You're hoping really you pick up, you know, like a, a rapid Vienna or somebody like yeah, that yeah. who's qualified. Not too decent teams from bigger leagues. I'm going to say it then, but we're qualified. Scrapping for Europa. For Europa. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Inter Milan's obviously won the league and obviously finished it uh, as the they're first. They're going to want to come to us and beat us, aren't they? Yeah. The team we beat them in the last round. Right? Yeah, unless Sevilla won the Europa League again and yeah. they qualified as the first um, first seed. Anyway, going back to what we have done. So we've played in the Super Cup, we won on extra time. Besiktas, in the first game of the season, we embarrassed them 5-0. Two seasons in a row we had the first game we beat them both times. Yeah. Good, isn't it? Really after they won the league that, that first season. That's Kirku's debut and he got a hat trick. Get in. <laughs> He's laughing, it? isn't he? What a welcome he must have had. Uh three 0 victory here against Konya Spor. Uh Mariano got two there, and Jao Pedro got one as well. 3-0 against this team here. It's three league games we're conceding the goal there. Yeah, and we finally concede uh, in a 6-1 victory, so it never really mattered, but a great result nonetheless. So we started off the season very well indeed because we would have been top from that 5-0 win. Yeah. Can we just hold it? Can we just hold that position the yeah, whole time? Definitely, yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, let's find out and simulate this season. Okay, we win the league again. Less points, easy, but bro. yeah, still very easy. 11 points that we beat Galatasaray here in second. And remember, we're playing a game less each time. So we've won the league twice now. Twice. That means we're one behind Galatasaray, Galatasaray. Right now. Yeah. We'll just confirm that. 21, 22. 22. So we are one behind Galatasaray. We've got the team to continue doing yes. this right now as well. Good. Very good stuff from us. I want to see who's the top scorer of the league. Jean Pedro with 34, Mariano with 21, dominating it. Great to see. Great to see. Yeah. Uh, also got the highest average rating. Lincoln got the second most assists in the game. Jean Pedro, 
most man matches. We only lost three times then, so who did we lose against them, really? We lost three games against one Besiktas, uh, and then two again, which we, we should be using against. against Galatasaray, that's a good... Yeah, yeah, we're holding our own against Galatasaray. Yeah. Uh, did we draw against them? No, we beat them both, both times, times, which is great. Obviously, that's going to be fantastic for yeah. fans to enjoy that. Winning the league and getting the double over Galatasaray. Yeah, yeah. Other competitions then. We are back-to-back -back winners of the league now. We've already won back-to-back -back cups. Can we go for the three-peat? Yes, we yeah, can! Yeah. Three-peat of the cup after going so long without it. That's lovely. Champions League, we qualified. Got knocked down the quarter-final, though. As well, from Barcelona. Okay, so... Oh, we lost 10-1 on our oh. pick at Barcelona. But we, we got there. We didn't just lose anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when we got further than what Man City did, and Liverpool, and Man United. So we've got to be happy with that. Who do we beat in the first round knockout? Man City! <laughs> oh, my God! We beat him 6-4. Is Alan playing? It must have been. All right, we'll take a look at that. I want to quickly see our group before we take a look at that, because that's mental. Uh, they finished second in the group. We topped the group. We, to we topped the group. We topped the group. We beat, oh my, Inter Milan. We sent them to Europa League. Off your trot. We won four <laughs> games. Sevilla, we beat them twice. They've accused them once. And Inter Milan. And what do we do? We won our own games. We won all three of them. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Right, okay. Now I need to see the two legs against Manchester City, because that is absolutely mental. We won 5-2 at the Emirates. I mean, we probably had more fans than what they did. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's that? basically a home game, isn't it? Man City are the Manchester team. Manchester fans. Oh. Man United are the foreign fans. Yeah, man. all right. Come on. Uh, we've still got more fans, though. That's amazing. <laughs> Mariano, he got himself a hat-trick. That's obviously really important. And showing Real Madrid, you shouldn't let me go for free. I'm yeah. doing it on the biggest stage. He didn't score there. Did he score there? No. Nope. Jean Felix. They got Jean Felix as well. So surely they've still got Haaland because obviously he's a massive player for Man City. They aren't going to sell him, surely. No, he's still yeah, there. He's still there yeah. He is still there. So Allegri's in charge as well and not Guardiola, which is interesting. Yeah. We lost though 9 1 at the new camp. Lewandowski got four. He's quality, and yeah, he's, he's the best player, I think, on the game at, at the minute. And we were down to ten, uh, to nine men, in fact, when we had two players sent off there. We did draw at home. It's just disappointing. Yeah. It's just un unlucky. And he scored really. there as well. Though. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That's not their best result in Europe, though. No? Quarter final. No, they have made it to the semi final. They got beaten by Bayern Munich oh, wow. in the semi final, yeah. which is the best a Turkish side has done as well yeah. at the semi final. Yeah, because obviously Galatasaray have won UEFA Cup, yeah. but they've never won the Champions League. Yeah. Ben have actually got the furthest in the Champions yeah. League. So I think Galatasaray, when we did them, they won in 2000, didn't they? They won UEFA Cup. Yeah, I think it was. I remember shame. rightly, because yeah. it was an even number. It was the guy who's been Turkish manager, Galatasaray manager. Yeah, she, Turkish yeah, manager, back, Galatasaray away. manager. Okay, squad wise then, who has scored us the goals? 40 goals for Jao Pedro. He has actually been injured as well, um, which was in, at the start of May. So we missed the last games of the season. Mariano got 33. Lincoln's had a very good uh, couple of, uh, well, a good statistics there. 12 goals, 15 assists, get your words out. Misha Batshuayi, even off the bench, is still getting 12. Not as many goals as last time. Did we check the cup final? I don't think we did. Uh, we beat Besiktas 2-1 in that cup final. So Again, well. it's a tight one, yeah. but we got the 3 P. We got that done, so that's fantastic. Great season the in thing my as well eyes. with the kit as well. We've got another star on our shirt now. Really? They got three. They got at the moment they got three stars on the shirt because they've won the league over fifteen times. For every five times they've won the league, they've got a star on the shirt. Yeah. So we've just gone past twenty now. Yeah. But another, another star. Another star on the shirt. Any lads? Isn't it weird how like different leagues have stars for yeah. different things? Like in England, it's Champions Leagues. Yeah. For Juve, it's every ten leagues that they win. Yeah. Fenerbahce is every five. <laughs> just means so many different things yeah. in different languages in different countries. Fair enough. But we are one away now from Galatasaray. Well, how many seasons have we got? Two more. We need to win both to overtake so we, them. We could do it. We, we could, could do, do it. it. We could do Come it. Come on. Money, 46 million. It's a good yeah, amount. It's a I'll good amount. It's a yeah. good amount. All right, fourth season. Let's go. First signing in the door. Again, is a Turkish player. We've given him the number nine. He plays in that number 10 role. Can also play on the left. Of course, we're not using that right now. But I think he's got some fantastic attributes. He's only 25 as well. So great player to have at this point of the game. Yeah. 13 million pound for you Patreon members. Of course, you get the save game That's file. Right. We're putting a good five spot pound. for them. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll have, have a Turkish squad, by the way. Really good Look. Turkish squad, yeah, because yeah, it's not the only Turkish player I've signed. So yeah. anybody who is from Turkey, maybe you're a Fenerbahce fan, you want to continue this on, £5 on the, the page.com forward slash Megaloot Gaming, you'll get the save game file at the end. Dad will set you a challenge. Because I had my eyes on this guy last season, but I couldn't get the deal over the line. We didn't quite have enough money. Zeki Celik, who is a fantastic right back in real life, and I think he's quite good 
on the game too. He's just signed for Roma. Uh, we bought him from Roma, 9.5 million pound. He hasn't really played a lot there. Uh, Jose Mourinho has been sacked from there. So, wow. Okay. The chosen one's gone. The chosen one is no longer chosen. Osbeck, we've signed him. He is a regen. You don't really see him a lot. No. But he's fantastic. Yeah. He's got to be the best Turkish prospect that they've had uh, come through. Uh, 18 years of age, and we signed him. From this team, 8.25 million pound. He played 30 games last season at 17 in the top division. So he's really good. He's Must got be good, yeah. I mean, if you think he's that young and he's got 15 concentration, great decision making, positioning is his only weakness, really. The rest of it he needs to work on. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. I think that's a great signing. We yeah. need to give him some game time. Uh, they're not the only signings that we made, though. We also brought in Alexander Nubel as a backup goalkeeper. He could be a first team. We've used him as a first team goalkeeper in the past, I think, for the Monaco rebuild because he is there at the start of the season. Season, but he's good enough to be a good backup. I was going to struggle to get in the team when he was there by a minute, and you never. Yeah. Well, Manuel Neuer's in front of you, is it? Oh, well, never yeah. mind. I'll just sit on the bench. Yeah. Keep it warm. I'll keep this bench nice and uh, <laughs> clean. And then we've got Josh De Silva from Brentford on a free transfer just to bolster our midfield because he's he's very good at everything. Yeah. That's the reason why I signed Josh De Silva, 25 years of age, uh, on a free transfer. You can't really complain too much. So that is the signings that we've brought in. Now, tactically, what is the point in changing it? The yeah. only thing I'm doing different is I'm playing Ridvan every single game because centre-backs, we've got quite good centre-backs, but this guy will be better next year, I think, than all of them if we play him now. So it's a risk. It's a big risk. Yeah, but we've got another season. That's a big risk, mate. So, we'll see. He's 18 years of age. I want him to play every single game. I don't know. I'll prove you wrong before with these youngsters. <laughs> I'll prove you wrong again. Uh, Schedule-wise, how have we done? Well, we have dropped points. I know you're going to beat me for that. We lot, we beat the Shikdas 2-1 in, in the Super Cup. Good start. Yeah. Uh, three or against Trabzonspor. That's just oh, a tricky yeah. game. So we've got a start of conceding goals, haven't we? Yeah. But they did sign Maxi Gomez, who, if you look at how good he is, there's a reason why he is that good. Yeah. Um, 28 years of age. How he's gone for Trazlops boy in real life, don't know, because I think he's amazing. Last season, he scored 19 goals in the league, 22 the season before that. He's quality, and yeah. he's caught us out there, even though Jao Pedro did get himself a hat-trick. We're back to winning ways, though, Mariano and Shazlai. And we got a 3-1 victory there with Jao Pedro getting to... Wow, look at that stadium. That's yeah, amazing, nice, isn't it? Nice. Uh, is that like an actual render or is that it's what it's supposed new, to look like? I think that's going to be their new stadium, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Built 2021. So yeah. that's obviously what it's going to look like. That's amazing. That's fantastic. So that's already built then. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. yeah. Maybe on the game it would have been, yeah. but in real life it probably is. I'm quite interested to see what that's like. Uh, we've got Pishik that's up next as well. Champions League group stage then. We cannot get rid of Inter Milan. They are there all yeah, the time. Think is they must hate playing against us yeah, as well, yeah. though. That's true. We beat them. Oh, game we lose. We knocked them into Europa last time. <laughs> but that's another two difficult games against Leipzig and Porto. After our last performance, I'd be disappointed if we don't win the group again. Win the group again? Yes. I just want to qualify. No, I think we should win the group. I think we should definitely qualify after last season because we've only strengthened the team. <laughs> but winning the group, I reckon we might have caught it in it Milan is a, it, is, it is an odd group. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you know Porto Porto's probably won the league a couple of yeah. times. Leipzig are probably up there, second, third. And then Milan most likely have won their league a couple of times. Okay. Well, we'll simulate this season and we'll find out. Before we show you that, if I pick the best 11, then you can kind of see what the assistant manager is thinking. Now, obviously, we have put in our defender in there, but we've got Zeki Mert. This team looks amazing now. Yeah. Kirku and Lincoln to Silver. Uh, Erfan Chan's there, Jao Pedro, Mariano, and our bench is good as well. We've brought in a lot of really good players who can, can actually do something from the bench. So now we'll simulate the fourth season. Fourth season, and we leveled yeah, it with Galatasaray, in. who actually, they could pit to second there from a team I've never even heard of, <laughs> which is mental, right at the last game of the season where they drew. Oh, did we draw them last game of the season? No, we beat them. But there we go. Did we lose our two against them? So we lost only two games, 88 yeah. points for Shikdas and that team there, which again, mid-table side. We yeah. will always step up against the mid-table yeah, side. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, we drew four games. Was any of them against Galatasaray? No, no. we beat Galatasaray in both those games. We're doing well for the fans, innit, we? Yeah, very so we're happy level now. Yeah. With one season to go. One season to go. Can we pit them to it? Jao Pedro got 36. Mariano got 33. We're scoring a lot of goals again, yeah. Dad. We might be conceding a little bit more, but we are conceding. Well, we are scoring, sorry, way more. That's the three, P. That levels it. What about the cup, though? Because, remember, the cup, we've already got three in a row. Yeah. Could we potentially get five? That's mental if we do. And did we qualify for the Champions League? No, we won did the win cup the cup. Again, no? We won the cup. That's four in a row in the cup. 5-1 against Trabzonspor. 
Mariano got eight goals, João Pedro got seven in the competition. Really good result there. But we are knocked out in the group stage of the Champions League. We finished bottom of our group. Well, and we won two games. Both against Porto. Porto. Uh, but they won two games. Inter Milan, away from home. And Leipzig. What a tricky... Like, that's a very tight group. Yeah. You very rarely see both the two teams I'm go through on 10. I'm didn't qualify there. Yeah. And getting up better than being in Europa League. Yeah, that would have been, that, that would have been uh, the, the best it? scenario for us, really, yeah. wouldn't it? Okay, well, who won the Champions League then? I want to see who won that. Liverpool beat Inter Milan in the final. Wow, well, well, so we all had, the way then. Yeah, we had finalists in there. Man United won it back-to-back. -back. Oh, come on, Eric. Get in. <laughs> Chelsea also... I mean, is Graham Potter still there? Yes, no. Potter won a Champions League with him. Go on, Graham. Good signing by Chelsea. Yeah, we like that, don't we? Yeah, we did. First thing, Dad texts me straight away about... About that yeah absolutely loved it uh okay good stuff uh mbappe's at barcelona by the way Ooh. that's mental yeah okay squad wise who has been scoring us the goals jao pedro at the age of 33 has 51 goals 96 goals and two players mariano what has 45. For us. yeah they love each other don't they yeah. <laughs> they absolutely love each other uh and 29 from kaveki assists <laughs> That's mental. Yeah. Uh, 16 for Mert Modo at right back there. Very good as well. Really impressive stuff from the lads. I mean, our, our goal scorer has gone down with the squad. But when you've got two strikers banging in the goals and they go, yeah. why do you want the rest of the players to yeah. score? It gets to the point where the rest of the team's like, just lump it up to yeah. them. They'll do let it. Them do the business, let, they'll, yeah. let them score. Lovely stuff. Okay. How many money? How many money? How much money have we got? £30 million. Got it's a good amount. Me. Yeah. yeah got to me. Uh, Bashuai is leaving the club as well as this man here. So we need to replace those squad players with somebody new. So let's see who it is now first signing is Seiko Koita good striker very pacey striker and different to what we have already yeah Mariano and Jao Pedro are the more powerful strong hold up the ball types uh, this guy has a lot of pace great agility and balance he's quick but he's also great off the ball yeah 17 off the ball and likes to beat the offside trap with a good composure anticipation that's a deadly combination right yeah, there yeah. it doesn't matter how good he is at finishing when you're that composed you can anticipate and you got that good off the ball of like speak the offside trap and you're that quick you're getting like 17 shots a game mm. in some of this in sometimes match it always reminds me of alex henneker when i was playing sunday league football somebody would go god alex missed so many chances he today did, didn't yeah. he <laughs> and i'll go he did score four goals though yeah. they go that's true it's because yeah. he'd go through one-on-one -on -one all the time oh, unbelievable wouldn't he? and he <laughs> just yeah. so good but he'd miss so many chances I was, when i was at school i started playing for my dad's football team who was a, a, a man's football team yeah and i think i was 16 at the time and he and i was quite quick and he said to me all i want you to do is follow our struggle it was a guy called graham ake he was like lightning mm. But he could not beat a keeper one on one. Really? He said, "All I want you to do is when we put Aki through, you follow him and you 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 just sweep everything up." Yeah, just get the tap I was leading goal scorer that season at sixteen <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a top Cornish league we used to play in, and all I used to do was just tap in an empty net because yeah. Graham would go through, go on the keeper, keep it getting under. I'll be there to tap in. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Aki gave me stick at the end of the season when I won the, the golden boot for the <laughs> league goal scorer. Did Graham get most assists? Did that count? <laughs> yeah. No, their goalkeepers did. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, say good corner. He's a lot better at finishing don't get me wrong yeah. but it's it's not one of his highest attributes but i'm saying is he will create so many chances from that but i have signed a football manager favorite dad tiago almeida he came onto our radar the season before i didn't have enough money when he did he is world class and we've managed to pick him up for such a cheap cost yeah because in real life he moved to the mls at atlanta don't know how he'll do it in in atlanta uh, let me know if you've been watching or following how he's been doing uh, but we've picked him up for 9.5 million for a young a young player to go through to the American League, and yeah, nothing against the American League, but a lot of the players when they get to their their end of the career, yeah, to America, don't they? There's play. a lot of hype about him as well, so, which did surprise me that he didn't go to a European club. Yeah. Um, but there we go. But he is fantastic on this game, and he will be solid for us in that centre attack midfielder. He's an upgrade to, from Lincoln. Yeah. So we'll see. Because we haven't changed tactics, why would we? We've done very well. It's just Europe. In, in Europe, obviously, yeah. we struggle every now and then. We've been unlucky with the groups that we've been in. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so let's see schedule wise then. How have we done? We have won or four of our games so far. Super Cup 2 1. Uh, 2 0 victory there. We haven't played anybody big. Bursa Paws come back up because they got relegated recently. They used to be quite a big Turkish team. I believe they won the league not so long ago. 2010 there you go uh, and they've been relegated uh, recently they come back up and we battered them 5-2 and a 5-1 win there our champions league I group think that, and we look and we won the super cup every season as well yes we have yeah okay. yes we have i'm happy with that as well uh again dad the champions league group has not oh. been friendly to us 
Leipzig once again. At least there's no Inter Milan. That's the we first time. No luck at all whatsoever. When you think no. we're we're actually champions of our league and we're getting drawn against group stages like that, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's because then, the league reputation is not yeah. high enough for us to be a higher seed That's at this right, point. Yeah. You need us to be probably it would be better for us to win Europa leagues yeah. rather than get further in the Champions League to get the more points. Well, to be honest, if we come third and play in the Europa League, I think we've got a good chance of winning it. Right? Yeah, I agree. We have got a hell of a team. We just really struck them. In, in uh, the but Roma, league. Leipzig, and Chelsea. That yeah. we could go through Europa League there quite easily let's take a look then at our best 11 now that we've signed a few of those players i haven't put in the defender because our best 11 suggests he is there now all right and that's what you get a season playing him uh, tiago made it up front coita and mariano so jao pedro is not considered our starting player anymore right. he is 34 i guess some really good midfielders there obviously and i think our defense is fantastic and this man has got better and better. We just need that position to come up and he will be, I think, a solid player, especially for this league. He already thinks he deserves a new contract. Slow down, son. <laughs> You've got three years left on this one. Quick question for you. Okay. Do you know what our nickname is? Probably something to do with being yellow or something like that. Yellow Canaries. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I would, yeah, I would have thought, because obviously the, the kit is so synonymous, yeah. isn't it, with Fenerbahce? It was probably something to do with that. Also, something that we haven't said. Turkish fans yeah. who go to the stadium. Like. What's the food like? Yeah. Is it good? Is it bad? Beers? Are they cheap? Are you allowed to drink there? I'm not sure. No, I don't know. I whether don't know. with like religion or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, um know. in in Istanbul, whether you're allowed to drink at stadiums. All of these things, let us know down in the comment section. I'm really curious. I love reading stuff about stadiums from fans who go. Uh, Someone mentioned right. about corners passes as well the other day. Because yeah. we asked if they get corners passes at one of the grounds and they said, Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Someone also put of course we get corners passes. Like, well, we I don't know. I'm gonna be your <laughs> Stadiums up in Bolton. Well, you're funny. I've just been to Spain and just come back, and it was um, where was we? Boss, not by um, Benidorm. Um, Benidorm. We was in Benidorm, and it was a cafe there. When we were on our way back to the airport, we stopped for some food, and it was a massive great sign. Cornish pasties sold here. Yeah, I so wanted to go in and yeah. find out if it really was a Cornish yeah. pasty or no. And but, by the way, that holiday was after the last episode where we had the big T-shirts. Yeah. Loads of people mentioned that, yeah. didn't they? I got a bit more of a better time. Yeah, there. that was fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay, then let's simulate this fifth and final season and see if we can take over the super. Have we already done that? Do we already take them? Twenty-two? No. Was it or was it twenty-two? No, we're equal now. Yeah, we're they, equal. they was on. We are equal. Yeah. Right. Okay. We need the twenty-third. We one. need the twenty-third. Let's go. And there we go. That is the twenty-third. Good championship, team. the Turkish Championship, we have done it. Lovely stuff. So let's take a look at the league there. Another team there jumping up in front of Galatasaray right near the end of the season. 61st, okay, 61 points, 92. <gasps> we didn't lose a game. Zero losses. That's got to be a record. Has to be. We drew five games. Scored 122, Bob. Well, Almost be our record. That was yeah. 128, I think our record yeah, was. was. Yeah. Only conceded 25. Solid at the back. Solid. That's our 19-year-old <laughs> yeah. centre back. He doubted me again, lads. He doubted me again. Uh, let's take a look there. Mariano got 32 goals. Koita got 19. I'm quite surprised that I thought he would have got more. He did get the highest average rating though. Yeah. Uh, so that's quite impressive. And he got the most man of the matches. Kaveki got 16 assists in the league. Must have the squad to score more goals again. Yeah. Koita got 13 assists himself as a striker. He's great. He's like your mate. <laughs> yeah. He was going for him, going missing them. Yeah. And Mariano was like, I'll just follow this one in. <laughs> yeah. I'm not as quick, but I'll get on on the rebound. Lovely stuff. I bet Mariano had so many tap-ins. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can we win five out of five cuts? We got four in a row in the league. Can we get five out of five in the cup? We're in the final. We're in the final. I haven't even done the final. Well, where's the Europa League? Yeah. Hello. He's <laughs> get in. Get in. One nil against Real Sociedad. Wow. Okay. Who scored the winner there? We haven't even played the cup final yet. No. We're gonna have to simulate that one and see how we get on. Mert Molder. We've won the league. We've won the Europa League. Yeah. Uh, Mert Molder got his 40th, well, 40th goal on the on the hour or just before our time there to make it 1-0 against Real Sociedad, which is a tricky team to beat. Yeah, that is yeah. really impressive. Uh, so let's see then. I want to see the Europa League, how we've got through. Okay, PSV Eindhoven, Wolfsburg, two big teams there. Salzburg. Been hard, hard been. Yeah, and Monaco. We only yeah. lost one game, which was the 1-0 loss to PSV away, but we had already beat them 3-1 at home with Mariano getting himself a hat-trick. So really impressive. I mean, yeah. beating 4-0, Monaco, 4-0 at home. That's impressive. Well, there you go, mate. Yeah. Every home game, we Every won. Every home game, we won there. Okay, let's simulate then the cup final and see if we can win five out of five. There we go. We are 4-0 winners in the cup final. Five in a row. Get in. That is really impressive. We've just done a clean sleep. 
and we won everything. We won everything. Yeah. Every competition that we entered out in the Champions League, we dropped out into Europa League. We won right. it. Doesn't matter. I'm so that means that. not only are we now ahead of Galatasaray in the league titles, I bet to say, uh, we probably won the most cups. I'll check that. What's the record of the winners there? Galatasaray have won 18 cups. Oh, get out. We must be close to that. Oh, we've only won 11. Long so they've won, yeah, they've won seven a, more. We've only we won five in a row and we're still nowhere near. Yeah. <laughs> but we have also become the second Turkish team to win a European trophy, which is obviously the only thing that Galatasaray would have had against yes, us. Yes, that's right, yeah. After now that, we've done it. We've done it. So we've matched them in European titles as well, winning the Europa League. I think that's a massive success, don't you? What challenge can I give? Yeah. There is only one challenge I can give from that. What's really? that then? What's the challenge? Get to the final of the Champions League. <laughs> in five years, could you do it? You've got a fantastic team, don't get me wrong. Yeah. You've been given £23 million. The reputation of the league is going to be a little bit higher now because you've won Europa. I dare say your task might be, if you want to get that far, is to build the Turkish league. You might have to win another one or two Europa leagues in those yeah. five years yeah. to then build up the reputation to attract the players to eventually get to that Champions League final. I mean, really, I'm going to make two challenges, really, because you've got such a good squad there, you've got to win the league. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you've got to keep doing that. You've got to keep winning the league. So yeah. We've done it five... Four seasons, because we didn't win it the first season, did no. we? Part one of the challenge is going to be win the five five years in a row. Yeah, which would be nine got, in a row then. Yeah, so you've got the squad to do it. Yeah. But I'm going to say at least try and get to equal what we've done, semi-final of the Champions League. Yeah. Do one better, get to the final. Yeah. I'm not asking to win it, just get to the final of the Champions League. Yeah, there I we go. that would be a hell of an achievement. That is your challenge so, yeah, for no, the it. Patreon members. On the £5 tier, you'll get this save game file as it stands right now as this episode drops thank you very much for watching we'll be back on monday with another one and we're taking on aston villa because steven gerrard right now is struggling. struggling he's called us in he's yeah. called us in <laughs> we'll check you out on monday for that episode thank you very much for watching we'll see you then Bye bye